Cool. Hello and welcome to another live workout. Hope you're all well today. Got a really good session lined up. So once I'll give you all a few minutes to get on your turbos, just start warming up the legs a bit. Let me all know where you're riding from today. I'm currently in Wales and it's quite a nice day today. Nam Dar, <laughs> good afternoon everyone. So I'll just give you two and a half minutes just to get on your bikes, get yourself warmed up and ready for the session. Make sure you've got some water and a towel and a fan if you can, because it's going to be quite a hard session. Even though it's just over 30 minutes, it's still a really good session and it's quite short as well. Hello everybody in the comments. Let me know where you're riding from today. So we've got two minutes now until we go into the first proper warm up. So if you aren't ready on your bikes, that's really good. Just start pedaling nice and easy. Great to see so many of you joining me from all over the world. Switzerland, Texas, Leeds, New York, Canada. Wales, come on then. Hope you're all ready for the session. Once we start the warm up, I'll then talk you through the session. I've got another pretty savage session lined up for you. You'll be all glad to hear. So, just over a minute now. So, hopefully, everybody's on their bikes ready for the session. Don't worry if you're not watching, if you can't do the session live, you can always watch the session back and do it again if you fancy it. Or if you are doing the session live and you really like the session, you can do it all over again. So we're gonna, if you haven't joined me before, we're gonna do our usual warm up to just five minutes, just working our way through the zones, getting harder and harder and the cadence going up each time. Um, then we're going to have two minutes rest and go into the main set. So we've got 10 seconds now before we start our warm up and the first bit is quite easy, just nice, just spinning the legs nice and easily. Hopefully you can all see the graphics on the screen. So nice just spinning the legs now, getting warmed up. Great to see so many of you tuning in from all over the world. So we're going to start the warm up now. So you just want to spin your legs nice and easily at around 85 RPM if you've got a cadence sensor. Just one out of 10 effort. Just getting your body nice and warmed up. If you've been sitting at a desk all day or at work or wherever you are, just start moving your body, getting it warmed up. If 
you have any questions about the session, please leave them in the comment section and I'll try and answer them. Now it's probably a good time to go over the session. And um, today's session is, so we're gonna do our warm up as per usual, two minutes rest. And then we're gonna go into four set four, one minute on, one minute off. So four times, one minute on, one minute off, four times. And these are gonna be quite hard efforts. It's probably, it's like a max effort. So nine out of 10 effort, minute as hard as you can. But you gonna wanna pace the minute, you don't wanna go off really hard in the first 10 to 15 seconds and get to the last five seconds and not being able to pedal. So we wanna pace them, but they are max efforts. Then we're gonna have just a minute rest and then we're gonna go into a three minute effort. So three minutes on, two minutes off, three minutes on. So just two, three minute efforts. And they're gonna be around time trial pace. They're a bit longer efforts. Um, so I'd say about 110, 120% over your FTP. Um, so they're really important to pace again. I think three minutes is quite a hard effort to pace because it's quite short, but then it's, you know, three minutes is quite a long time. So you want to be able to pace it. So I'm going to go up to 95 RPM now for a minute. Just getting harder each time. Your heart rate should slowly be going up now. 95 RPM. seconds left before we go up to 100 rpm. A little bit faster then. Five seconds. Now up to 100 for a minute. So nearly 30 seconds left of this. So you want nice high cadence. Just get the blood moving around the body. Heart rate should be going up slightly now. Getting warmed up for the session. Go over the session once more so everybody knows what we're doing. So we're gonna do, it's quite simple, one minute efforts to begin with. So we're gonna do four one minute on, one minute off. So the one minute on is max, max effort, nine out of 10, 10 out of 10 if you can. <laughs> but you know, you wanna be pacing at the minute, you don't wanna be going off, you know, sprinting off in the first minute and losing 100 watts in the last 10, 15 seconds. You wanna pace it quite well. Then we're gonna have a minute off. The minute off is completely easy. You don't even have to pedal if you don't want to. Just spin the legs, nice and easy. Then we're going to go into three minute efforts. So two, three minute efforts around time trial pace. So into the last 30 seconds of the warm up now. Should be up to 110 RPM. 20 more seconds. It's been nice and warm now. Three, two, and one. So we're gonna have two minutes easy now. So just get some fluid on board and get ready for the session. Thank you. 
So someone asking a question about RPM. So yeah, I have put at the end of the warm up there for 100 plus RPM, and that is just to get your legs going really fast. Um, it is meant to feel like you are spinning out a bit, but it's a good way just to get warmed up. Um, obviously, everyone's cadences uh, can be different depending on how um, comfortable you feel at different cadences. Obviously, I've come from a track background and I'm quite used. I'm used to spinning out at high gear, so we do a lot of efforts at above 115 RPM. Um, but I know not everybody feels comfortable doing such high cadence efforts, so you can tailor it up to you is just what I've put to recommend, but you can you can change these sessions to suit you a bit more, um, or whatever, if you like. <laughs> Hope that answers your question. So we've got 25, we've got 20 seconds left now before we go into the first one minute max effort. So we're gonna do one minute on, one minute off four times. So 10 seconds to go, you need to think about the gear you're gonna be in. I'll count you in. Get ready. Three, two, one, and go. So you want to find the power where you want to sit at. Get nice and comfortable. Again, I've got 100 RPM for this, but whatever you feel more comfortable. Yeah, hands on the drops. If you feel more comfortable on the drops too. Halfway through now, 30 seconds to go. Twenty seconds to go. Keep pushing all the way through the effort, don't die off. Ten seconds, keep pushing. Five. Two, one, and rest. So we've got a minute rest now. Try and get your breath back. Spin your legs out a little bit, really easily. Oh, that got me very warmed up. So you'll be able to judge from that first effort how you want to do the second one. What what gear you want to be in, what kind of cadence you want, or what power. But these are supposed to be savage efforts. It's, you know, nine out of 10, 10 out of 10. As hard as you can go for a minute. So 15 seconds before we go again. Start thinking about that gear you want to be in. Five. Three, two, one, and go again. Get on top of that gear as quickly as you can. Get that cadence up. I'll just hold that power for the next 40 seconds. Halfway through. Twenty seconds to go now. Keep pushing. Keep on top of that power, that cadence. So it really starts to hit. Five seconds. Two, one, and rest. Another minute rest now. That's two efforts down. Two to go. 45 seconds rest. Make sure you just give your legs a nice spin out. Really easy gear. Doesn't have to be any certain power. Just spin them nice and easily. It will help. Twenty seconds to go. 
15. I'm gonna go again now in 10. Something good about that gear you want to be in for the effort. In three, two, one, and go. It's always a bit of a struggle at first to get on top of that gear. Now just hold that, hold that power, 15 seconds down. Keep that cadence nice and high. 30 seconds down, 30 to go, halfway. Twenty seconds to go. Nearly there. Ten. Five. Two. One. And rest. Whew. That one was the hardest one yet for me. So another minute rest now, before we do that again. Spin your legs, nice and easy. Get some fluid on. The rest goes very quickly. 30 seconds rest left now. The last one minute effort. So try and push yourself even harder now. So increase it by 10, 15 watts if you can. Just get a little bit extra effort out. Right, 10 seconds. Think about that gear. Three, two, one, go. Back on it. Make sure to keep that upper body nice and still because you're going to be getting tired now. Forty-five seconds to go. Last one. Halfway. Thirty seconds to go. Keep pushing. 20 seconds to go now. Get everything out. Ten seconds. Keep pushing. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, that's it for the one minute effort. Next, we're going to go into three minute efforts. How these three minute efforts will feel a bit nicer now. Just because they're a little bit longer, a little bit less power, but they will start to bite in the last minute. So be prepared. Twenty seconds to go now. So these again for about one hundred and ten percent of your FTP. Still, you know, eight out of nine out of ten effort. So in three, two, one, and into the three minute effort. So you want to pace this now. So if any of you are time trialists or I've done time trial lists, done time trials. So you want to be sitting around your 10 mile time trial kind of pace, your 20 minute pace, whatever that is. So get into a nice rhythm. Don't go off too fast in this first bit. You want to be holding the same power throughout the session. This is a bit of an easier effort. 
try and concentrate on other things that you weren't concentrating on in the one minute effort. So your upper body, concentrate on your cadence, your breathing, get into a nice breathing rhythm. So we're a minute down now, really good effort. Try and keep that cadence as high as you can, wherever you feel more comfortable. Eight out of 10 effort, nine if you can. Hundred and ten to hundred and twenty percent of your FTP. Just over halfway now. Minute fifteen to go. This is where it starts to bite in the last minute. So keep pushing through. One minute to go. Remember you can hold wherever you feel more comfortable and you can't quite see my handlebars but I'm holding on the drops because when I start to suffer I like to get a bit lower and even though we are on the turbos it is good practice to hold on your drops because it's quite easy to sit upright on the turbo or rollers or static bike whatever you're doing this on 20 seconds left now Keep on that power, 10 more seconds. Five, three, two, one. All right, rest for two minutes now. Get your breath back, get on some fluid while you can. And get out of the saddle, have a stretch, stretch your back, because you are in quite a static position on the turbo, and it, you know, when you're out on the road, you are out the saddle up the hills. So make sure you get out of the saddle now and again. Great to see so many of you joining the session and enjoying it. Enjoy, is enjoyable the right word for a session like this? I'm not sure. Very hard session, but you will feel good after doing the session. I always struggle to get on the turbo. But once I get on and do the session, I feel 10 times better. So hopefully you all do too. So 45 seconds left of the easy bit before we go into another one. And this is our last three minute effort. So again, Empty the tank in this effort. Start off as you did in the last one and every minute just get harder if you want to. Or if you know you're not having such a good day, just ease off it a little bit. We all have bad days. So just bring the power up or down 10, 20 watts, whatever you feel. Right, 10 seconds to go now. So get in the right gear. Get ready for this last effort. Three, two, one, go. Back on it now. Three minutes. Eight out of ten effort. 110 to 120% of the FTP. You want to be sitting around your time trial pace, time trial effort. Get comfortable with your cadence, get in the right gear. 30 seconds down. Last effort motivation from everyone now. Push that a little bit harder.
Two minutes to go. Minute down, keep on that power. Remember to think about your cadence, keeping your upper body nice and still, all the power out through your legs. Concentrate on your breathing, nice deep breaths. Over halfway now. Into the last minute. If you're feeling good, just push that little bit extra, 10% more. Fifty seconds to go. Forty seconds to go now. Keep on top of that power, don't let it drop off. Twenty seconds to go. So it really starts to hurt, but keep pushing. See the finish line now. Ten seconds. Five. Three, two, one, and rest. Well done, everyone. So now we're into the cool down. You'd be very glad to hear. So it's a nice six minutes, easy spin. You can stop pedaling for 30 seconds or a minute if you want. So get your breath back. Remember, Get out of the saddle, have a stretch, and get some fluids on. Very important. Hopefully, you all found that session beneficial. And if you have any questions about the session, anything on the channel, or any questions for me, please drop them in the comments section and I'll try and answer them. Great to see so many of you join us today from all around the world. What's your favorite trainer choice? Um, I'm using a Wahoo kicker at the moment and I'm finding that very good. It's got power in it too, so I haven't actually got power cranks. It's all through the turbo, so I can connect it to my, I can get it off my bike computer, uh, my element bolt, and the power will come up on the screen, which is quite good. Nice to see some Welsh viewers, Jotham Bow. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comment section and I'll use this call down to answer them. Sweating buckets, that's good. See, I'm uh, quite sweaty too. <laughs> Should have brought a towel. <laughs> School boy error. How does an amateur adult get involved in track? Well, this is never too late to start track cycling. You can literally go to your local velodrome if you have one and you can join the sessions that the velodrome put on they have sessions for beginners um, adults and children um, i think just joining one of them that's a really good way to get into track cycling um, or if there's an outdoor velodrome near you that's free to 
go and try you can go and try that and um, just take your road bike on and have a ride around a velodrome but um most indoor velodromes will have higher bikes available so if you don't have a track bike that's fine and um, you can hire one from them so i hope that answers your question when are you getting the new kit um hopefully as soon as we can um i know Dan has had his new kit, which I'm quite jealous, but um, yeah, as soon as everything starts getting back to normal, um, and Costelli can post it out to us, but um, yeah, as soon as you can, let me know what you think of the nice kit. Grinding or spinning on a climb. Um, I feel like I'm always grinding on a climb. If I was spinning, I'd be going fast. So probably grinding, but yeah. I'm not a massive fan of climbing. I'd rather nice flat road. Thanks, Manon, great session. But I can't feel my legs anymore. That's good, that's what we want. <laughs> Hopefully everyone has benefited from this session. Would you have a bike up in Canada? Yes, I'd love to go riding in Canada. I've never been to Canada, so it'd be nice to have an adventure there. Hopefully one day I will be able to. So we're still in the cool down now. Don't get distracted, keep pedaling. The cool down is just in, as important as the warm up. Otherwise, you will have very sore legs when you wake up. Man on track stand champion. Yes, if you haven't seen the presenter track stand video, go and check that out on the channel. And if you've got any cool track stand skills, please send them in to us because we'd love to see them. See if you can beat our presenters Truck stand skills. Are there any live sessions available on the YouTube channel? Um, so yeah, we do. This session will be live on the YouTube channel after and all the other sessions that I've done previously. So um, if you want to do any of them sessions, you can just go onto the YouTube channel on GCN um, and if you just scroll back, there's Lowe's, me, Jeremy, and Hank have been doing live workouts. So make sure you check them out. So that is the cool down over and done with. I hope you enjoyed this session. I will be back next Monday at the same time with another live workout. So hopefully you can join me then. Thank you everyone for joining me today. Hope you have a good rest of the day. Bye.